Today we check out the Elise's update to his very popular mod, and there's some good stuff in here. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. As you can see here, we have Thalys's mod all laid out. Thalys is really good about giving you a lot of details and even giving you some examples of how to use his mod. And he even does slides, so he kind of makes this really easy for me to make a video. So thank you Thalys, and I hope that I showed this mod off properly. So what we're going to be looking at today, we already did like a preview video like last week or so with Windows, but we're going to take a look at the actual released mod update now. And it adds a few more things besides the cool canopy windows. So let's go ahead and get a little closer look at some of the slides that Thales made for this thing. All right, so first off, if you are new to Stormworks mods or you have no clue what I'm talking about when it comes to modding at all, I'm going to link on the top right and in the description to two videos you'll probably want to look at. The first one is the modding in general, what it is, how it works, and the people involved. And I'm going to also link to the preview build of the Windows mod that is in this update. So there's two things here that you're going to go on and look at. So if you look at this slide here, the Elise is kind of giving you some tips on what he did to implement this mod to make it easy for you to use. So he adds a prefix M and TH, M being mod, TH being for Thales. And that way you can search MTH, as you can see, and it will bring up all his items once you have the mods installed. Again, if you need to know how to install mods, look at the videos top right of this video in the description as well. All right, so he also has some preset planes that you can download from the workshop, check them out, see how they're built and uh, see how they fly. They do glide a little bit better or maybe a lot better than a standard Stormworks plane because they're using special blocks that alleviate some of the weight uh, that slows down planes. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these slides because these are from the previous build and you can link to the video that I did earlier if you wanna check out more details on talking about these. But he's basically added new control surfaces, modular wings, and they're all built to create lift and give you more options when building your planes. He's added new propellers with new sound effects so that they sound a, li a little bit beefier and sound like airplane props. He's also added modular windows, which we covered in a previous video as well, which allows you to build a frame for any, like basically any size window you want. You can build a very wide window, a very tall window, a very, uh, you know, what do you call it, slender, sleek? What, I, <laughs> what is it called? Narrow, narrow, thank you. And uh, you can do that, all right? Uh, next up, he's added radiators. He's added fluid pumps. They're a little bit more powerful. He's added uh, slim fluid tanks that fit inside wings. He's added different wheels that allow you to customize your plane so that they they have thinner wheels or more like a tail wheel kind of configuration. He's also added, and these are amazing if you haven't seen these before, he's added vertical speed indicators, airspeed and altitude, which are 3D objects. They're not rendered uh, in a monitor or anything like that. So you can actually see the numbers and the dials very clearly. He's also added some different types of uh, suspension behavior. He's added compact rope anchors, and then he's also added a, a narrow seat, and he's got even more seats in this new update, but we're not there yet. So let's keep moving quickly along. Next up, he's added new basic blocks. Now these were in the original release, and it adds a lot of different blocks, a lot of different wedges, different sizes and they also behave differently depending on which one you use because he removed some of the blocks that are ident identified kind of in the game engine as being weight and those were removed but visually the block behaves the same way and I think that's on the next slide yeah so you can see that these are the basic blocks that came with Stormworks and he's removed some of the surfaces so that they behave uh, a bit better in game for for removing mass and kind of making things float and uh, reducing weight. If you want more details about this, please come to my uh, Discord and you can go ahead and talk to Thales there and he can give you a better idea of all the details. And of course you can play with them or read more on these slides that are on the download page at Nexus Mods. All right, so let's get to the new stuff. So the new stuff, which is really exciting, is he added new seats. So there are six new seats which change the uh, the size of the seat and also the blocks that don't allow you to build on top, you know, kind of on top of the, 
the uh, seat where you would try to build something and would say, oh no, you can't, there's a, a you know, it's too low to the seat. You can now build at a, a lower, uh, I guess, a lower angle or lower altitude above the seat. So very cool. They also kind of lean back, so you can kind of be a cool lean back guy. And he's also added some sound effects for the crankshaft, so the engine sounds a bit different, and a compact handle. All right, so what else did he add? Well, he's also done some new basic blocks. The orange ones are the new ones. And so he's added some slightly different angles and slightly different configurations that are going to give you more options. And of course, all of these blocks behave exactly like a default Stormworks block. They're not XML modded blocks. These are fully uh, implemented blocks. If you're using mods where you can select them, copy them, paste them and move them around in Stormwork without issue. Sometimes with XML blocks, because they're not real blocks, when you try to move them around in the game or select them, you'll have difficulties. Also, these blocks are sealed. XML blocks, I believe, have issues with sealing spaces unless you know, you're actually implementing other blocks to seal in those holes. So it's worth noting that when you use a Thales mod, you are getting practically a vanilla experience, but with more added features. All right, what else? He's also gone ahead and added new doors, plates, and basic blocks. And we're going to look at these in the actual game so you can see what these look like. But he's kind of divided up some blocks so you have smaller pieces and then you can make more rounded shapes, more complex shapes. And of course, they're all sealed. He's got some new doors that are thinner and some new plates that allow you to put like flat plate surfaces. So maybe uh, for the side of a plane or a ship you could have a really thin uh, building block to use. So very cool. The biggest thing about this update that people are going to be interested in, if you are any kind of cockpit builder for World War II planes or modern planes, are the windows, which include transparent window pieces so that you can actually make a canopy and make a frame around that canopy so that you don't have uh, a bunch of blocks that are just all you know, frames. And it's also worth noting that the frames also behave differently than the default vanilla frames inside Stormworks. Again, uh, if you want to know more details, you can go ahead and watch the video above on the preview of the windows. But as you can see from the picture here, you have a very cool rounded cockpit that has some frames to show that, you know, that the windows are being held in place by something and uh, they are sealed. So very cool. So on the final slide, there are just some more details about how the windows are set up, how the frames work and how they're smaller and thinner and how, which is really cool, is that you can put a window right behind a gauge or something and have it be flat if you see on that bottom left frame there. So you're going to want to check out the video that I did in the preview if you want more details. Again, I kind of went more into that, but we are just going to go ahead and look at the sample that Thales provided with all the blocks and see how much work he's put into this. So let's do that. All right, so now we are walking around in the game. I'm just going to kind of walk around and we can see some of these blocks. So these are wedges. There's some thinner half blocks, which are amazing. Uh, you can see we've got some super thin like plates or panels, whatever you want to call them. We've got all of these lovely wedges. And again, all of these behave as a vanilla uh, you know, building block experience. They're sealed, they're selectable, and you can use them on your builds and make some really nicely formed uh, structures. Here are the propellers that have new sound effects. We have window frames, and I, I need to show this to you because unless you go watch the older video, you're not going to know this, but here are the window frames, here are the windows, and as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell what is what. Look, there's a window right there, but you can't see it. But I'm going to show you how inside the editor, you can easily work with these blocks. Okay, uh, we've got some more wedges. Here are the new seats. So you've got a thinner seat, and then you've got the, the laying back seat here, which is very cool. And you can see it has a lower profile for building into cars and making it a smaller structure overall. Uh, we've got handles, we've got rope anchors, we've got the piston, and look, here are the, uh, the amazing dials. Aren't those lovely? so readable amazing and then of course we have the control surfaces and as you can see he tried to build them so that you can basically attach them next to each other and build out a wing that is you know one piece aileron and then you can control them all of course together 
to make it look like one piece. Very cool. Uh, some more wedges, or actually these are wing pieces, so they're going to produce lift. And I believe in the editor, you can tell which side is up with arrows. So we'll take a look real quick. Uh, we have the wheels, which are good for, you know, this is a back wheel maybe. We've got some thin wheels and uh, thicker wheels. Very nice. Uh, I think we already did the radiator and the fluid tank. Of course, we have the crankshaft with new sound effects. We also have the alternator and pumps that behave with a little bit more power. And it looks like these are just different angles, which is cool. All right, let's go ahead and check out these. So this is new. I haven't played with this at all. But as you can see, with these new uh, wedges and parts and cutoffs and uh, what I don't know what you want to call them, but sliced and diced wedges, cubes, you can make some really rounded off structures. Again, they behave exactly like the default vanilla blocks. So you can cut them, paste them, and they are sealed. Let's see some different shapes here. So if you're working on, you know, submarine front end or a bomber or whatever, you can get some nice rounded off edges. Uh, here are some glass examples. So you've got the see-through glass here and we can come in here and now we're inside a turret. It's round and it's beautiful. Here's a different kind of cockpit example where you have no frames all over the place with the default windows. So you can actually build a cockpit where, look, we can actually, if I, can, I can't stand up in here because I'm too low, but we can, if we could go a little bit higher, can I do like that? Uh, we could see that you can, you have a great field of view if you're inside the cockpit. So awesome. Here's some different shapes that you can make and just showing you that you can, you know, have angled windows without all the frames. Very nice. Another cockpit with a different style and of course, paintable frames. All right, so let's just jump into the editor really quick. What I wanna show you is this. So this key over here, direction arrows, if we turn that off, this is what it looks like when they're spawned, right? You can't see the window panes too easily because they're not really reflections inside the game. Unless you're kind of like at a funky angle, you can see kind of like the window glass. And if we come over here again, you know, we've got the angles kind of hard to see, but what they lease has done. Uh, and I show this in the preview build, if you haven't watched that already, is he's used the direction arrows that are mostly for like, you know, showing which way is up to show you how the windows are being used. So I copy this. You can see that I can see exactly where I'm placing the window at what angle. And also the arrow shows you which way is the window pointing. And as you can see here, you've got the windows you know, showing the windows are pointed outwards or whatever. But uh, yeah, these are these are great. Uh, mods are not supported with Stormworks officially. So if you're new to the game, modding is not officially supported. So you will have to install mods using Stormloader. Again, the videos are going to be linked in the top right in the description. So if you need more information on how to do that, you can also hit the Discord of the SMF and get help. They're very friendly and helpful uh, if you want to use these. And uh, yeah, so these are a lot of options. We'll probably check out uh, more of Thalisa's builds that are using these and see how he uses them. I currently do not use mods because I feel like the devs should actually support mods natively. So these are amazing mods that really add to the game. And what might be really cool is if the devs took a look at Thalisa's work and actually, you know, hired him, uh, you know, contracted him to work for them to add new features that they would approve of and uh, give their blessing on. And then they could actually implement them into the vanilla game. So, uh, you know, big things here are probably the control surfaces, some of the doors, some of these blocks, maybe not all of them, but uh, the windows are probably a must have that would probably fulfill a lot of people's issues when building cockpits and all that kind of stuff. And of course, you know, some of these other blocks. But as I said before in a previous video for new users versus uh, advanced users, it might be nice that if these were truly implemented, like here they are right here, implemented into the game, into the vanilla game, and the devs hired the lease or whatever, uh, you would want a filter to show advanced blocks versus default blocks or something like that. And that would just make the game first inviting at first by giving new players less blocks and less options. And then for the advanced players, they could show all of these amazing different blocks and different windows and different configurations that they could use in the game. So I, I hope uh, that the devs do take notice of this and maybe embrace modders like they least that are adding features and are really interested in making the game 
better for everyone and not, you know, it's not a, a uh, I, it's, it's not an ego thing. It's not look at what I can do. It's I want to do this for you kind of attitude, especially with Thales, who is a wonderful builder. And really, when he builds this mod, you can tell there's a lot of thought put into every block here. This is not just cosmetic. These are actual blocks that have a purpose and were created for the, you know, a specific problem that needed to be solved in the game. Windows, bodies of, uh, you know, planes and ships so that you can round them off and make them more detailed and streamlined and more buoyancy uh, for ships and more lift for planes. So th these are all serving a specific purpose. I know I'm repeating myself. I do that a lot, but uh, I, I just, I would really, really like the devs to embrace uh, either modding support or, you know, some of the modders themselves that are putting a lot of thought and love into the creation of this type of uh, modification. So that is it for today. I'm gonna let you go, but of course I really would like you to go ahead and if you don't install this stuff, just go look at what he's doing in the slides and why he's doing it. And maybe, uh, you know, suggest to the devs in a nice way, in a non-malicious, non, I don't know, bossy way. I don't know what the words are. No, don't be a jerk. Go to the bug tracker and say, look, we would really like you to look at Thalese's builds and, you know, maybe implement some of this stuff or again, look at bringing Thalese into the uh, dev community as, as someone that is providing, uh, you know, content for future updates. So I'm kind of dragging out this video, but I just wanted to kind of put that in your mind and hopefully maybe put this into the dev's mind that uh, none of this content is malicious. This is this is pure passion for the game. So anyways, I think I'm just trying to convince the devs to look at this in a different way than maybe they're looking at it, if that makes any sense. All right, enough of this, but before I let you go, let me invite you to go and vote for the Stormy Awards. I know there's a lot of things to vote on, but you have the rest of October to vote, and it makes a huge difference because some of these only have like 10 votes total, and some of them have over 100 votes total, and while the ones with 100 votes are easy to find a winner. The lower voted items are really difficult to declare a winner. So the more you vote on, the more it's going to help. And you need to only vote once for each of the categories. And it would be so helpful. And again, it's a community project. And it's to celebrate the community. And I hope you are a part of it. So thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the bell. So it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Yeah.